In this video I'm going to show you how you can do some statistics in Python. In particular, how you can work out standard deviations of large data sets and use this to compare them. So to make it concrete, let's imagine we have... Um, let's say we're trying to measure whether changing the temperature makes batteries put out more voltage. So you've got a battery and you measure its voltage lots of times, say several thousand times and then you raise the temperature and you measure it again several thousand times and you want to see are the two numbers different. So let's see how we go about doing this. So let's imagine we've got the data and so there's one file I'm calling data A. This is a CSV file but it could be an Excel file or anything like that. CSV just stands for comma separated variables. It's got the voltage and a whole bunch of numbers and there's a couple of thousand measurements. And then there's also data B which also has a column called voltage and several thousand measurements. What we're going to want to do is measure the averages of these two and to see whether they are different or not. Okay, so as a first step, let's drag them into the Google Docs. So this is Google Docs. And we've got a folder, My Drive, called Data, where we're putting our data and we'll just drag the two files across. Okay, now we're going to need a program to deal with them. So let's go back to my drive and into the Colab Notebooks notebook um, folder. And we'll need to create a new more Google Colab. Okay, so first step is going to be to uh, read the data in. Now we can either remember all the commands we typed or go to a template file and it has here what you need to do to import data. So I'll just copy that and paste it into the first cell here. Let's run that. So the spinning dashes indicate it's running. And it's asking for permission to connect to Google Drive. So let's give it that permission. Tell it which account. Allow. Okay, 24 seconds and it's done it. Now what we're going to do is read in the data. Now, once again, I can't quite remember the command for reading in the data, so I will just copy and paste from this template file. So here we go. Copy that and paste it in here. Now we don't need to change them things. This is reading an Excel file, but ours is actually a CSV file, so we'll change that with CSV and it wasn't called movementdata.xlsx, it was called data a.csv. And because we're going to load in two sets of data, we better give them different names. I'm going to call this one data a, and that means data a.head to plot it. So let's have a look. Okay, didn't find it. Uh, let's see. My drive data hmm, data a dot csv why isn't it there all right I call it data a comma csv and it should have been data a dot csv so shift enter again and now it's read it in fine and we can also read in the second set of data we'll call that data b. So I'll copy this and paste it. So data, I'm going to call it data B where it's read into, and we're reading in the file data B. 
So in here is telling it what file to look for, and in here is telling us what we're going to call it when it's been loaded into the program. And I'll plot the head of that to make sure that's been read in correctly. OK, so we now have two files, one called data A and data B. OK, let's see how long these files are, how many pieces of data there are. This we can just use the len command for length. So len data A tells us it's got 2,000 things in it, 2,000 data points, and we can do the same for B, which also in this case has 2,000. Great, so we now have two very long sets of data, and we want to see the averages. So to do this, we'd have to import the NumPy package, which stands for Numerical Python. Now, I've actually already got this in the line I copied across from the template. Import NumPy as NP. So this imports a Numerical Python package. So now to use something in it, we just need to type an NP in the name. So let's say we want to work out the average of uh, data A and print it out. So let's print... The things in quotes are what's just going to be printed out as text. And we can do it's numpy.mean data A dot voltage. So that means it's the column voltage from the fourth in the data set data A. Okay, 2.306. And now let's print out the average of B and see how different they are. So edit this. OK, so they're actually pretty similar. We've got 2.306 as opposed to 2.374. Is that a real difference, or could it just be the noise? Well, let's try and look at the standard deviation of these two sets of data. So standard deviation is just mp.sdd. So I'm going to copy that and paste. numpy.std and we'll do the same for B. And let's see what we get. Okay, so there's the two averages and the two standard deviations. What you can see is they differ by about 0.07, but the error on both is much bigger than that. It's 0.21 or 0.17. OK, so does this mean that we, if the standard deviation is bigger than the difference, do we actually know we've made a difference? Well, the thing is, we've actually measured 2,000 data points of each, and so the uncertainty and the average of that 2,000 is going to be much smaller. If you remember from the stats on uncertainty, you'd have to divide by the square root of the number. In this case, it was 2,000. So standard deviation of mean of A and of mean of B is going to be that over square root len data A. And same for here. So what we're doing is, instead of the standard deviation of each individual data point, where the fact that we've averaged over 2,000 is going to mean we're actually much more accurate, and dividing by the square root of the number of data points should give us this. OK, so we need to call it math.square root, so it knows to use the math package. And we need to import math. OK, so we've now imported math. And now we can try this. OK, 
So now it's looking much better. Both numbers are uncertain, but the uncertainty in both of them is now smaller the difference between them. To really test this, we're going to have to do some uncertainty propagation. So let's get the uncertainty package. Once again, let's go to the template file, and up here it's how we import uncertainties. Copy and paste that. OK, so the uncertainties package is now installed. So we now know that, uh, let's call A is U float. We'll give it a number with uncertainties. And its value is this. And its uncertainty is this. and B is going to be similar. Ready with data B, of course, for both. OK. And now we want to see what's the difference. So we can print A minus B. OK, so what we can see is the difference between A and B, that is the averages of all the data in A and all the data in B, is 0 0.068. And the uncertainty in that difference is 0 0.006. So the difference between the two means is actually more than 10 times bigger than the uncertainty. So this is real.